Well, it's fine. And we are going to let everybody know. And let's remind everyone that it's time for the class. Today we're going to cover uh, the instruction for places, and it's going to be very interesting. Let's just hope everybody connects the soonest. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hello, Janira. How are you? I'm fine. I'm really fine. Great. That's great. And you? Go what ahead. about you? I'm here, ready to start. Nice. Me too. I'm ready. That's excellent. That's just excellent. And tell me, how was your day? Oh, it was OK. Uh, I have a lot. I have a lot of work, and I pay my bills, and I'm I'm better than yesterday because I'm not locked down. You are not down battery. Oh, your energy. Yes, I'm okay today. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. It's always good when we are like. Yes, it's, it's better. Yeah, of course. Of course. Maybe, maybe I drink a lot of sugar because today I drank maybe four glasses of tea. Uh, okay. Coffee. I drank. I drank. I drank four glasses of tea. 
Glasses or cups? Uh, glasses, vasos. Okay. It's a uh, uh, cold tea. It's not oh, hot tea. Iced tea. Iced tea, right. Ice. Ice tea. Oh, yes. Yeah. In, my, in my case, what works for, what works for me is coffee. Okay. Me too. I like coffee. But maybe today it was hot and then uh, I need uh, something refresh, refresh me. Cold, refreshing. Refreshing. In my case, it's, uh, it's coffee, yeah. I like tea. I actually like tea. But it's funny, I don't like iced tea. I like hot tea, like uh, black tea. I love black okay. tea and mint. Mint tea. Mint tea, me is yes, is delicious. Um, two week, two weekend uh, ago, I okay. buy. I I, I bought, bought. I bought. I bought a, a. How do you say cafetera? Coffee machine. Coffee machine. Because. The all was damaged, broken. Ooh. The the I don't know who to say the song. The glass. The glass was broken. Oh, that's bad. That's bad. Yeah, what you mean is the picture, right? Okay, the picture broken, and then I can live. I can. I can live. With that coffee, I need coffee in the morning. Well, yeah, no, in my case, I need coffee all day long. I take around like what? Uh, well, not that much, no more. Now I just take like seven or eight. Wow, <laughs> this is much. Much uh, coffee, not really, because coffee. they are. They are regular, normal. So I used to have a big one and take like seven of those. Oh, okay. So now I take it easy. Okay. When I was at the office, I drove drunk. I used to drink. So I used to drink uh, maybe six or seven cups of coffee. A, a big, a big cup of coffee. Oh, in that case, it's not a cup. Perhaps it was a mug. Ah, okay. A mug, a mug a coffee. Mug are a mug of coffee. A mug, mug of coffee. La, son las tazas grandes o los vasos que utilizamos térmicos para el café. Those are mugs. Okay, mug. Thank you, teacher. Yeah. Well, yeah, in my case, I like to. I like coffee. How do you take your coffee? Uh, black without yes. sugar. Okay, that's black. Black, yes. no sugar. Black, no ah, sugar. Ah, okay. Black, no sugar. Yeah. The same goes for me. I like it black. I take it black all the time. The only one, the only time that I can have something sweet added to the coffee is perhaps when I am taking an espresso and if I don't want an espresso, I ask for a cortado. Okay, okay, it's, it's good. Yeah. Sometimes, sometimes I I drinking uh, coffee uh, in a Starbucks um, cold brew. is two shots of coffee with ice and a little vanilla. Okay. Oh, something else that I also like is Irish coffee. I, Irish coffee. Okay. Irish coffee in Cafe Irlandes. Oh, that's delicious. Really? Well, if you like scotch, ¿te le gusta el whisky? Uh, I don't like. <laughs> okay. No, then no alcohol. Don't try it. <laughs> okay. Then don't don't try it. No, it just they just put that a little shot. And for me, it's like 
cool. Maybe I try, maybe. Hey, it's delicious. I like it. Where do you buy? Mm -hmm. Well, last time I took it at Los Naranjos. Mm -hmm. And there's a, 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 let's see, the coffee cup. Ah, okay. Yeah, the, the coffee cup. But it's good. Try it. Try it once. You will like okay. it. Okay. Oh. I try it. Well, nice talking to you, Janita. Thank you, teacher. Let's see. Mar Marta and Avelinda, hello. How are you? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, my dear. How are you? I'm fine. How and about you? your day? I'm just great, just great. Here, ready to start the class. Excellent. Uh, my day, my oh. day was very good. Uh, I have a nice day. Hard, hard, hard. But I am ready for the class. Okay, that's excellent. That's the attitude. Esa es la actitud. I like that. Okay, and tell me, what have you done lately? Okay, tell me uh, something, a good project, somewhere that you have done. Uh, and Monday, 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 in the week, only work in my house, only. Okay, so you <laughs> always stay at home? Yes. Well, yeah, nowadays that with this situation of the pandemic, it's difficult to, to go around, yes. right? Yes, yes. But the good safe thing is in my house is... Yeah, we are safer. Safer in my house. We are safer at home. Ah, okay. Home. At Thank home, you, remember. At home. No, no, no problem, no problem. Well, thank you very much, Martha. My You're welcome, welcome, teacher. Teacher. And welcome to the class. Let's see. Wilfredo. My dear friend. Hi, teacher. Hello, Hi. Wilfredo. Last night you stood me up. I'm so sorry, teacher, but I lost my connection and and I I relaxed one moment in the sofa. When I wake and up, you, I'm sorry, when I woke it up. Is, it, yeah, I'm sorry, sorry, sorry. When I woke up, uh, it is. It, it was is, very light. Not very very early. Oh my gosh, very early. I stayed in the, in the living room watching TV a little time, but I was very tight, teacher. So sorry, teacher. No problem, no problem. That expression, you stood me up, means me dejó plantado. Will you repeat, please? I, I texted it in the Zoom chat. La he mandado en el chat de Zoom. Okay. You stood me up. That means me dejó plantado. You stood me up. Oh, right now, well, this, is, me this, up. Is, this is new word for me, new expression. Yeah, it means me dejó plantado. Well, me that happened. That happened. Don't worry. Don't worry, my friend. Let's see, let's see. But the good thing is that you're here in class and tell me how has been your day? It was it was good, teacher. It was good because uh, it is it is uh, it was uh, the same activity, but I I don't don't have any any issues in my job and when I arrived at home, I, I talked with my son, my children. Okay. 
and I you relax, you feel good. Yeah. That's relax. Excellent. It's always good to be relaxed, to be happy, to be at home. It's always good. And it's nice talking to you, Wilfredo. Welcome to the class. Let's see who else is around. Thank you. Ambar, hello, how are you? Good evening, teacher and guys. I'm fine, what about you? I'm great. Tell me, how was your day? Well, my day, it was very hard in my job, but I can, uh, I'm ready for the class. And okay. I hope to learn a lot of vocabulary and other things. Okay, tell me, Ambar, what time did you finish working today? Sorry? What time did you finish working today? Um, 5 p.m. 5 p.m. So you have time to relax? Mm, just a little because I, how do you say, do it que se limpieza? <laughs> oh, you did the house chores. Yes. You build the house, yours. Yeah, well, that happens, you know. That happens to everybody. When we, yes, work, we uh, have to come home and do something else. Yes, um, because, bueno, el clima también no ayuda mucho. <laughs> and it's hot. Yeah, it affects, it's a stress. Well, welcome to the class, Amber. Thank you. Okay, let's see who else is around. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Hey, Roxana. Hi. Hi, teacher. Good evening, everybody. How are you? I'm just fine. I got a question for you. Tell me. I don't do the homework. <laughs> I didn't do. <laughs> I didn't do. Okay, you didn't do the homework. Oh, we're going to talk about it. <laughs> tell me, how was your day, Roxana? For me, it was okay. Maybe in um, sometimes, or a couple for a of hours. Oh, for a couple of hours. A couple of hours. It was very busy because I was in meeting, meetings and I was uh, checking some reports. And right now I'm in closing, but for me, it's, it was a good day. Okay, my question for you was about that. The question was, what have you been up to? What happened? Look at the chat. What have you been up to? That's, that's a question. And it means, uh, esa pregunta significa algo como, uh, ¿Qué ha estado haciendo? ¿Qué ha hecho? ¿A qué se ha dedicado? ¿Qué hay de nuevo? Okay. Work. What have you been up to? Can you tell me? Ah, uh, no much, just work. Yeah, no much. Uh, I used to uh, have a lot of work because uh, in my department I was alone, and in the past we are we were a uh, two person, and right now. And I am alone, or lonely, Ooh. alone, alone. alone. Yes, and alone. I used to uh, just have work, 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 work. And the weekend, and for example, I have, uh, I used to uh, take a lunch with my best friend and my son and, and on Saturday, Saturday and Sunday, Saturdays. Saturday. And Sunday, I usually spend time how in my house with my family. Okay. Oh, interesting. Thank you very much. Okay. Let's see who else is around. Elvia, hello, Elvia. Hello, teacher. How are you, Elvia? Tired. Tired? A long day, a heavy day? 
I? A long day, a heavy day, un día largo, un día ocupado. Yes. Okay, tell me, what have you been working with? ¿Qué has estado haciendo? Um, prepare reports and make, what is the meaning? Check it. Check. Check. Yeah. Make check. Um, report the availability. Okay. In, in my home, in my home, uh, to make a dinner. To make dinner. Okay, okay. Well, you've been busy. Yes. <laughs> but welcome to the class. Thank you very much, Elvia. Let's see. Maria Alejandra. Hello. What have you been up to? Hello, teacher. Um, <laughs> I work. <laughs> okay. Um, the uh, today had uh, many days, a uh, difficult day, but <laughs> <Ni modo. laughs> anyway, anyway, but, uh, because in um, Republic Dominicana, the Dominican Republic, uh, the Dominican Republic, uh, tomorrow had a sueto holiday. Yes. Oh. Um, yes. And yes. um, all the case have cases. finished all the all the cases in today because tomorrow don't no se va a facturar. No sé cómo se dice. Okay, there's not going uh it's like this. There there's no There's no billing tomorrow. There's no billing tomorrow. And the department um, don't work because change the day of father with the holiday in Dominican Republic. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Father's Day? Father's Father, Day? Father's Day. Um, anyway. Oh. <laughs> oh, you've been busy. Yes. Welcome to the class, Maria. Thank you. Hey, Fernando, how are you? Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, uh, mister. As always, tired of work of life and everything else. <laughs> no, I'm okay. kidding. I'm kidding. Uh, as I say yesterday, these days my work increased and I have near time for other things. But here we are to learn. Okay. Yeah, that's that's the best thing to have that attitude, to be here willing to learn. That's excellent. For Sorry. the rest of the class, remember that willing means a uh, This expression, be willing to means, oops, I'm sorry. I just sent it to somebody. My bad, my bad, my bad. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Can't see. No, 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 hold on. This, be willing to, estar dispuesto. Okay. Be willing to. Okay, I'd be willing to learn. Okay, no, the expression is be willing to, but remember that when you place I before a verb, acuérdese que cuando usted pone el I antes del verbo be, este cambió y se transforma en am. I am willing to learn. I am willing to, ah, uh, okay, I am willing to learn. Okay. That's attitude. 
Okay, let's see, let's see. Silvia Avendaño. I got another expression for you. Um, this is a modism. Tengo un modismo. Tell me, Silvia, how tricks? Silvia, hello, good evening. Hello, teacher. Okay, Silvia, I got a question for you. How tricks, Silvia? Excuse me, could you repeat the question, please? Look in the Zoom chat. I texted you a question. How, oh. how tricks? This question means uh, how tricks. That's the meaning. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's a modism. Ese es un modism. Okay. Mm, everything is going fine. Okay. Uh, only I have a lot of work and a little bit of stress now. Um, because we are really busy these days. Uh, but everything is, is fine. Yes. Okay, that's good, that's good. And yeah. tell me, what was your schedule today? Okay, um, today I got to work at 1 p.m. Okay. And I sent some quotes to our clients. Okay. And I received some clients um also i made some invoices okay. and i sent these invoices to our clients yes okay. um, i also received some phone calls and i replied many texts messages yes Ooh, so you've been busy. Mm -hmm. Yes, I have been very busy. I finished work today at eight. At eight, and I've just arrived home. So I'm now. I am here in my house now. So you live close to your job. Excuse me. You live close to your job to your work. Yes, you live I live close. I just walk. Yes. Oh, that's um, cool. Yes, that's cool. It's about ten minutes to walking from my from my job to my house. So um, that's that's good for me. That's awesome. <laughs> yes, that's awesome. Mm -hmm. Excellent, excellent. Well, thank you very much, Silvia. Okay, you're okay, welcome. Okay, guys. Before we continue. Uh, let me get, please, the attendance. Let's see, Ambarelli Alfaro Gomez. Present teacher. Okay, hold on. Uh, Andrea Beatriz Rendero Silvian. Eduard Ademir Noyola Brito. Elvia Chanet Beltrán de Cabrera. Present teacher. Fausto Antonio Landaverde López. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Present teacher. Eh, Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Jocelyn Alexandra Fuentes Molina. Carla Marielos Guevara Callejas. Present teacher. Thank you, Carla. Leslie Fernandez Ochoa. Linda Marlene Acosta Barrera. Linda Wattfield. Yeah, she's here. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. 
Marta Ana Belinda Morales de Portillo. Present teacher. Thank you. Marta Patricia Díaz González. Rita Beatriz Cabrero de Sea. Present teacher. Thank you. Roxana Iveda Sánchez de Mejía. Present. Thank you, Roxana. Silvia Elizabeth Avendaño Pineda. Present. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Here. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. Shanira Elizabeth Asencio García. Present teacher. Thank you. Carlos Antonio Murillo Hernández. Present teacher. Sandra Beatriz Hernández Martínez. Okay, let's see. So, what is around? Carlos, hello, mister. How are you? Fine, thank, fine, thank you, teacher. Okay, okay. Hey, we were missing you yesterday, mister. What okay. happened to you? <laughs> okay, I... After four months ago, I have to make a presential work from, from today to John 15, 15, 15. 15. And I, yesterday I have to move from Huayua to Soyapango because I have to, today, I have to uh, go to my, uh, my a meeting. Meeting in. Okay. Uh, we we are we work in. Const, uh, we are construction or making a a budget to to present and propose propose propose. Proposal. Proposal at, at the, global, the, the global fund because they, okay. they, they are um, make a, they, they are making give a, give, give a, a, a fund to okay. fight to COVID and we have to make a budget. Okay, interesting. Yes. Oh, yeah, you were work, you work for plan, right? Yes, I, I work in Plan International. Okay, I'm so sorry if to ask, uh, what's your area of expertise? I'm I am a content teacher. I'm in, in my work, I'm a, I'm a content to the Global Fund project in Plan International. Okay, accountant. Yes. So you have to deal with a lot of numbers. Oh. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know, actually, I like numbers. I love math. I actually love more uh, physics. What I don't like of the accountancy is taxes. And it's terrible. <laughs> Doing the taxes is terrible. And the worst for me is paying taxes. Man, <laughs> whenever this time of the year comes when we have to make the, 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 the declaration, I suffer. Because... <laughs> Yeah, because I, I gotta I gotta pay extra. Yes, you have and to you have to uh, I don't know I don't remember pedir. Ask for okay, you ask for um uh, uh, pago is es un pago a plazos. Yeah, credit. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, believe me, I have to pay more than a couple of hundred. Okay, yes. So it hurts. <laughs> wow. well, that's that true. Okay. Yeah. Well, thank you, Carlos. Welcome to the class. Okay, okay. thank you, teacher. Okay, guys, let's see, let's see, let's see. Today we are talking about places, locations, and instructions. So remember last week we were working a little bit with instructions because we were using the imperatives. Do you remember guys? Like uh, open the door, close the window, 
right? We were using imperatives to give instruction. Like if somebody is going to cover for your, in your workplace, your position, you give instructions to that person and you use imperatives. And if you remember an imperative is a, it's a sentence that starts right with the verb, okay? That's why we say, open the window, close the door. And you know that in that situation, uh, I'm sorry, lapsus. Oh, and you know that in that situation, the, the subject is always you, right? When we talk about imperatives, the subject all the time is you. Now, let me just check on something. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Yes, I'm so sorry. I was just checking out if it was really you guys with whom I have seen imperatives. Perdón, me estaba verificando que era con ustedes que había visto los imperativos. Sorry, it's just that I got different groups, so I was checking out. And yes, it was with you. So I was explaining to you guys last week that uh, when we use imperatives, remember we don't place a subject, we start with the verb, okay? And today we are going to use a little bit of the imperatives, but we are going to add something else to give instructions, okay? Like, uh, let's see, Janita, please open your mic. Okay. Okay, Janita, I need you to, to, to project yourself. Imagine that I, uh, I have gone to visit you, okay? I am visiting you at your house, Okay. right? Right. Right now, I am in the living room in a very comfortable sofa that you got. I'm laying down. I mean, we are friends. And I ask you, hey, Janita, uh, can I use your restroom? Yes, of course. Is crossing the hall? Pasillo? The what? The, Pasillo? Yeah, the hall. Hall. The hall. hall. Is to find of the hall. At the uh, end. At your um, left? On your. On your left. Perfect. Thank you very much, Janita. Okay. That's it's exactly, it's exactly, yes. I'm sorry. Uh, could you send us the presentation of yesterday? Oh, I didn't. No. Okay, just let me let me do something, guys. Uh, hold on. Give me just a second, just a second, because otherwise I will forget. So. And uh, I'm sorry, guys. Okay. I, I won't forget it. I, I wrote it. Thank you, teacher. Ya lo, mar ya lo marqué para que no se me olvide. I will send at the end of the class yesterday's and today's. Okay. Ayer y la de hora. Today we're going to have another PPT, okay? Thank you for reminding me. Gracias por recordarme. Hey guys, whenever I forget something like that, please remind me. Sometimes it just slips my mind. Okay? Slips means deslizar. But in this case, when I say that something slips my mind, what I mean is uh, se me va por alto. Okay? That's the meaning of something slipping my mind. Thank you very much, Janita. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Well, that's mostly what we are going to be talking about today. We are going to be focusing on locations, prepositions, but remember, we always start with a little part of conversation before we move on. I remember that I haven't talked to Carla. Hello, Carla, how are you? Hello, teacher. Very good. Very good. Tell me, Carla, how was your day? I, I am tired for my work. I, well, I hear you tired. Se le oye. Okay, tell me, what time did you get home, Carla? Repeat, please. 
What time did you get home today? At 7 p.m. You got home at 7 p.m. Oh. Okay, so, but you have time to relax. Welcome to the class. And let's go straight to the conversation. Thank you, Carla. You're welcome. Okay, guys, let's see the conversation. Let's see if we can make it a little bit bigger. Okay, yes, we can. Okay, the conversation goes like this. Good morning, everyone. It's a pleasure to introduce the new floor safety engineer. Hello, everybody. I am Mary and I am providing some safety instructions today. Tell us about that, Miss Mary. Wear a helmet all the time. Walk between the yellow line. And don't forget to wear the, the earplugs all the time. It is important not to get close to rail areas. I repeat. Good morning, everyone. It's a pleasure to introduce the new floor man, the new floor safety engineer. Hello, everybody. I am Mary and I am providing some safety instructions today. Tell us about that, Miss Mary. Wear a helmet all the time. Walk between the yellow line. And don't forget to wear the airplugs all the time. It is important not to get close to red areas. Okay. I will repeat one last time. Good morning, everyone. It's a pleasure to introduce the new floor safety engineer. Hello, everybody. I am Mary and I am providing some safety instructions today. Tell us about that, Miss Mary. Wear a helmet all the time. Walk between the yellow line. And don't forget to wear the earplugs all the time. It is important not to get close to red areas. Okay. Hey, Edward Alamir, welcome. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, sir. Let's see. Let me create the breakout room so you can work, go and work. Perfect. You will have three minutes to practice the conversation. Remember to switch roles. Okay. Groups are created. Please jump in. well <laughs> okay hello, uh, hello hi teacher any question about the conversation um for oh, me no, no question teacher perfect perfect if something give me a holder comment all the time walk between the yellow lines and don't forget to wear the airplugs all the time. It is important not to get close to red areas. 
Okay. Mm. Now I am the first. Yes. It's so short. Good morning, yes. everyone. It's a pleasure to introduce the new floor safety engineer. Tell us about that, Miss Mary. Yes, Miss. I'm sorry, I will. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Carlos. Just remember something. In this case, it's not Miss. It's Miss. 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 The situation is this. You have Miss, Senorita. You have Mrs. Senora. And you got Miss. We use this when we don't know if it's single or married. Este lo usamos cuando no sabemos si es soltera o casada. Okay. Miss, como con tal final. No. Sin la I. Miss. Sin la I. Ah. Miss. Miss. Mim. Okay. Miss. Miss. Señorita. Sí, señorita es Miss. Ahora, el Miss, quítele la I. Miss. Miss. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> that would be like saying that would be like saying senior, right? Like we don't know the ending. No sabemos el final. Señorita o señora. Okay, that's Miss. Okay. Engineer. Hello, everybody. I am Mary. I am provide some safety instruction today. Tell us about that, Miss Mary. Wear a helmet all the time while between the yellow lines. And do not forget, forget to wear the air for all the time. It is important not to get close to red areas. 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 Uh, areas. Okay. Uh, uh, thank you, teacher. Okay, let's see. Now everybody's here. And let's see who's going to start. Uh, Edward and Wilfredo, you're the group number one. You got to start. Okay. I am. Hey. Uh, you are ready, Wilfredo? Yes. Will you start, please? Okay. Good morning, everyone. It's a pleasure to introduce the new floor safety engineer. Hello, everybody. I am Wilfredo, and I am providing some safety instruction today. The last about that, Mr. Guardado. Wear a helmet all the time. Walk between the yellow lines. And don't forget to wear the airports all the time. It is important not to get close to the red areas. OK, thanks. Welcome. OK. Introduce, introduce. Okay. Introduce. Okay. Perfect. Linda and Sylvia. Linda, you will start. Okay, teacher. 
Good morning, everyone. Eso. It's a pleasure to introduce the new floor safety engineer. Hello, everybody. I'm Mary, and I'm providing some safety introductions today. Tell us about that, Mr. Mary. Wear a helmet all the time. Walk between the yellow lines and don't forget to wear the earplugs all the time. It's important not to get close to red areas. Linda. That's all. That's all. Okay, Linda, uh, something that I need to, to, to clarify. You say Mr. And it's Miss. Ah, because it's a woman. Yes, it is. <laughs> Sorry for the mistake. Okay, perfect. Carlos Murillo and Maria Alejandra. Okay. Carlos, we start. I, I, I start. Good morning, everyone. It's a pleasure to introduce the new team. Hello, everybody. I am Mary, and I am, I am providing some safety instruction today. Tell us about that, Miss Mary. Wear a helmet all the time. Walk between the yellow lines. And don't forget to wear the hair plugs all the time. It's important to get close to red areas. Hair plugs. Hair plugs. Okay. Martha and Avalinda and Roxana. Martha, you start. Okay, teacher. Good morning, everyone. It's a pleasure to introduce the new floor safety engineer. Hello, everybody. I'm Mary and I'm pro providing some safety instructions today. Tell us, uh, tell us about that, Miss Mary. Wear the helmet all the time. Walk between the yellow lines and don't forget to wear the earbuds all the time. It is important not to get close to red er areas. 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 Sorry. Okay, no problem. No problem. Let's see. In... Hold on. Tell us. Tell us, Marta. Tell us. Now, Rita and Janira Elizabeth. Rita, you will start. Okay. Good morning, everyone. It's a pleasure to introduce the new floor safety engineer. Hello, everybody. I'm Mary, and I'm providing some safety instruction today. Tell us about that, Miss Mary. Wear a helmet all the time. Walk between the yellow line. And don't forget to wear the earplugs all the time. It is important not to get close to red areas. Red areas. 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 Perfect. Very well done. Now, 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 now. Elvia Janet and Carla Maria Luz. Elvia, you will start. Okay. Good morning, everyone. It's a pleasure to introduce the new floor safety engineer. Hello, everybody. I am Mary and I am providing some safety introduction today. Tell us about that, Miss Mary. Wear a helmet all the time, while between the yellow line, and don't forget to wear the Air, airplane all the time. It is important not forget close to read area. Okay, perfect. Very well done. And Amber Alfaro and Fernando Gonzalez, please. Okay, what starts? Uh, you start, Fernando. Okay. Uh, good morning, everyone. 
it is a pleasure to introduce the new floor safety engineer. Hello, everybody. I am Mary, and I am providing some safety instructions today. Tell us about that, Miss Mary. Wear a helmet. Uh, sorry, wear a helmet all the time. Walk between the yellow lines, and don't forget to wear the hair plugs all the time. It is important not get to not get close to red areas. Okay, it was excellent, guys. Very well done. Just remember, air plug, air plug, air plug. Okay, these are your ears. Yes. Uh, sorry, what does it mean? Helmets. Casco. Casco. E air yeah. plugs. Uh, Tapone de oído. oído. Ah, okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, guys, let's continue. Well, 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 well. First, we are going to check out something from the manual. Okay. Now we have, we are going to see the diagram of the Rex facilities and identify the different places. Look, we have production area, reception area, planning area, manager office, auditor, auditor office, quality control, restrooms, exit, parking. You can say parking or parking lot, okay? I repeat. Production area, reception area, planning area, manager office, auditor office, quality, control, restrooms, exit, parking. Now, if you see, they are distributed like this. And why am I showing you this? Okay, let's see. Because we have a pair work. Remember, this is page number 23. The paperwork says you are at the parking and you have this question. Where are the restrooms? So it means this, you are at the parking. Where is the parking letter I? It's right here. So where are the restrooms? The restrooms is letter D. So let's see, where are the restrooms? Oh, right here. So if you're here, you can tell the person, go straight and turn left, okay? In order to give the instruction. But we are going to make it a little bit different, okay? Nosotros vamos a hacer un distinto. But before getting into it, I would like to explain a little bit more. Antes de llegar a eso, me gustaría explicar un poquito más. And for doing that, I have prepared a, a, a PPT. Okay. Just let me see. See, let me see, where is it? Ah, right here. Okay, here, we got the PowerPoint presentation. And let's see. Look, we have given directions. How do we give directions? This is very important. Now, Look, uh, we say, when we are giving directions, we say, go straight or go straight ahead or go straight on means continue in this direction, okay? That's the idea, that you continue in this direction. Now we have turn left, in my case is this, okay? 
in your case is the opposite, right? Or turn right. Turn, remember, it's when you go to a place and then you turn to make a turn. Then you have a preposition. So place, we have on, we have above, you see? Now, on is when something is on top. Above is when it's cuando está arriba, but there's a distance, you see? Above. Like in your houses, the, the, the roof, the techo is above you because it's not on you. No está pegado a su cabeza, right? It's above, there's a space. Over is when it's flat on top. In front of, in front of, right in front of me. Beside or next to, that means that is right next to me. Right? Below, below is, like I told you, the roof is here, I am below the roof. I am here, below, abajo de, but there's a space, okay? Under, in this case, under is no separation, flat, okay? And behind or behind, you can hear both pronunciations. You can listen to some people saying behind and some other people are going to say behind. That means the back. So let's continue, let's see. Now we have more here. Remember up, down, out of, in, in means dentro, okay? We have in, on, under, over. Over is when you pass over something, cuando no pasa por encima. At, this is very important, at, you are exactly on the place, está exactamente en el lugar, at, across, Cruzar. Along. Along means uh, como al lado o al pasar. Okay. And let's see, we also have down here, we have between. You see between? Between means entre, but exactly entre dos. Okay. This finger is between this and this. Now, let's see. The police station is between, okay? The police station is between the bank and the store, you see? Police station between the bank and the store, está entre. The drugstore is across from the police station. Here's the police station and the drugstore is across from, al cruzar. The school is next to the restaurant. Let's see, where's the restaurant? Uh, oh, right here. So the school is next to, al lado. The train station is across from, you see? The train station is here and it's across from the school. And we have the drugstore is between the movie theater and the post office. Now we are going to do a small exercise. Let's see. Okay, we were here. Sorry. We remember turn left, turn right, right? 
We have these prepositions, we have this one, and remember that the police station is, where did I say that was the police station, Fernando? Uh, the police station is between the bank and the store. Between the bank and the store, perfect. The drugstore, Elvia, where's the drugstore? The drugstore. Yeah, in relation to the restaurant. No, I'm sorry, to the police station. In you have, front. You can say in front of. of, or you can say across from. Uh, okay. Ambar, the school is? The school is? The next to restaurant or across from trade next, station? Perfect. Next to the restaurant because it's related to the restaurant. Because we have a lot of relationship from the restaurant. Okay. Okay. Now, the train station is in relation to the school. Let's see, uh, Carla Marielos. Okay, let's. Oh, mm, mm, look, the train station is across from the school. Now, uh, Maria Alejandra, number five, please read the whole sentence. The drugstore is next to the movie theater and the. No. Between mm. is between the movie theater and the post office. Perfect. Is between the movie theater and the post office. Let's see. We have the house, we have the car, the dog, the tree. Okay, let's see. Roxana, the house is in relationship to the car. Please read the whole sentence. The house is. Behind the car. Behind the car, perfect. Excellent. Edward, the dog. The dog is below the sun. Below the sun. Below perfect. the sun. Excellent. The trees. Let's see, number three, number three goes to uh, Carlos Murillo. The side of the trees to the, the side of the house. Ah, in this case, cuando ya tenemos to the, lo único que puede ser es left or right, Carlos. Okay, in right to the house, front of the house. The trees to the left. Está a la izquierda. The situation is this, Carlos. When we have Teacher. to da, cuando tenemos esta expresión, to da, it means está a la. So, the only two options are right or left. Okay? Okay. okay. Who was asking me? ¿Quién me preguntaba? Pregunta, lo voy a hacer en español para que me quede claro. <laughs> Perdón. Este, cuando uno da la referencia, teniendo una foto enfrente, lo hace, eh, por ejemplo, en relación a mí, el What? árbol está a mi izquierda. Yes. Ok, el perro está a mi derecha. Entonces, siempre manteniendo esa relación, es yes, que se dan exactly. la referencia. Ok, ok, gracias. So, now, number four, Chanira. The car is in front of the is in front of the, the house. Perfect. Marta, number five. Uh, the song is about about the dog. Mm. Above. Perfect. About. 
Excellent, well done. Number six, Sylvia. The house is between the dog and the tree. Perfect, excellent. The house is between the dog and the tree. Number seven. Let's see who goes for number seven. Rita, number seven. The dog is to the right of the house. Perfect, Rita. Excellent. Now we got here the cat, the base, the flowers. Let's see. Let's see who's gonna start. Mm -hmm. Janita, you start. The cat is below of the table. The cat is below of the table, yes. Right? Okay, let's see. Uh -oh. The cat is under. under the table. Okay. Under the table. Now let's see, Ambar, number two, the base. Sorry, the, ba the base is over the table. Over the table, on, ah, Sorry. <laughs> Number three, uh, Elvia. Mm -hmm. The flower are On mm, the base, they are in, in. in the base, dentro de. Mm. Okay, we have here the ball is under the table. Well, no, this exercise we are going to skip it here. Excuse me, guys, how to get to the post office? Go past the hotel and talk. I'm sorry. I left on to Main Street. Go one block and turn right. It's across from the train station. Thank you. Okay. Listen to the next one. I'm sorry, guys. How to get to the market? It's easy. Turn left to the corner onto Apple Street. Go one block. The supermarket's on the corner of First Avenue and Apple Street, next to the police station. Thanks. Okay. The pronunciation here is kind of weird for you because it's uh, it's not American English. In American English, it would sound something like, "How do I get to the supermarket?" It's easy. Turn left at the corner onto Apple Street. Go one block. The supermarket is on the corner of First Avenue and Apple Street, next to the police station. Thanks. Okay, if you see the instructions, they are like, turn left, go one block, or walk straight ahead, or go on, on the corner. Remember, things can be on the corner if they are right in the corner, okay? So, guys, let's see. Hold on just a second. Any question about this? I have a question. Yes, tell me. Uh, go straight ahead. It's the same and go straight on. Yep. So you are right. What's, what's the difference or in what uh, situation? I can use. There's no difference. Go straight ahead. Go on. Oh. Walk straight ahead. Are variations of the same thing. The only difference is uh, between go straight ahead and go on. There's no difference. 
go straight ahead and walk straight ahead is because you are walking and you are asking people the instructions on the street okay and, but if you are by a car if you are driving a car you stop and you ask a uh, transition uh, excuse me how do i get to to galerias and the person says oh go straight on yes, three blocks because you are driving they cannot tell you what okay oh, okay okay i got it that's the only thing okay now just give me a second let's see let's see hey i haven't passed the attendance right Ambar Elia Alfaro Gomez. Present teacher. Thank you. Andrea Beatriz Rendero Cibrián. Edward Ademir Noyola Brito. Present teacher, present. Thank you. Elvia Janet Beltrán de Cabrera. Present. Pausa Antonio Landaverde López. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Present teacher. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. Thank you. Jocelyn Alexandra Fuentes Molina. Carla Marielos Guevara Callejas. Present. Leslie Fernández Ochoa. Uh, Linda Marlene Acosta Barrera. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. Marta Anabelinda Morales de Portillo. Present teacher. Thank you. Marta Patricia Díaz González. Rita Beatriz Cabrero de Sea. Present teacher. Roxana Iveta Asensio de Mejía. Present. Silvia Elizabeth Avendaño Pineda. Present. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Una gata. No, bajala. Oops. Sorry. And Janira Elizabeth Asensio Garcia. Present teacher. Thank you. Carlos Antonio Murillo Hernandez. Present teacher. And Sandra Beatriz Hernandez Martinez. Okay, guys. Uh, Just let me report something. Thank you. Okay, let's see. Well, guys, now let's see. We are going to do a different type of exercise. Let's see. Who's not from San Salvador? Who's not from San Salvador? Who doesn't live in San Salvador? Please tell me. Live in the San Salvador. Yeah. Who lives? Uh, I got some of you are from Santa Ana, right? I'm going to be saying some of Santa Ana. Teacher. Alfredo. Who else? Just hey. Wilfredo. Fernando. Just the two of you. Okay, perfect. It's because uh, of the exercise I want to do. Okay. And we are going to do a different type of exercise right now. Okay, guys. Let's see. Now, the exercise, it's going to be like this. I will make 
the groups. The groups are going to be from four to five members, okay? What you are going to do is the following one. I will get into your group and I will ask you to tell me how do I get to a specific place. Y le voy a pedir que ustedes me digan cómo llego a un lugar en específico, okay? So what you as a group are going to do is build up the instructions for me to get to that place okay the point of, of the point of start is going to be a uh, salvador del mundo el punto de inicio va a ser el salvador del mundo okay sure. from there to a group i'm going to tell uh, one thing one place to the, another group i'm going to say another place and you are going to give me the instructions the idea is that I am driving a car, okay? So you have to be like on it. You will have seven minutes to perform that activity, okay? You need to work as a group and I'm going to be going from group to group, listening that you are using English as much as possible. So the groups are created. Please, let's see, let me check the last group. Uh, yeah, it's okay. Groups are created and jump in. I will get to the groups to tell you the place that I want you to get me to. Everybody went to the group. Okay, guys, I need to go to Hospital Rosales. I am sick. Okay? Tell me how to. Me tienen que decir cómo. Ask. Ask to someone. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> That's why I'm asking you, you as a group. Well, you, what you, you must call the... There are you no no, 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 no. You are going to give me the instructions. I am driving. Yo voy conduciendo. If, no conozco. Okay. I am I from Santa know. Ana. I don't know. <laughs> I am I from Santa know. Ana, so I don't know. You tell me, okay? Okay, guys. Let's see who do I have here. Okay, yeah. This is a nice group, guys. I will give you an easy one. So la voy a poner fácil. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Yes, I need to get to Universidad del Salvador. Ah, qué fácil. Okay. Easy, cheesy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. Where are you? El punto de origen es Salvador del Mundo. Salvador del Mundo. Okay. Okay. Okay, iremos en drone. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Hello, guys. Okay. Teacher. Hi, teacher. Yes. Teacher, we need we need your help. Tell me. What kind of place we want to visit? I'm sorry. What kind of place do you want to visit? Where do you want? Oh, that's what where, I, where do you want that, to go? That's why I'm here. I saw a new to tell you the place, the location. Okay. okay, let's see. I already gave the easy ones. Ya di las fáciles. I'm sorry for you. Oh my god. I'm yeah. sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't hear you well. Ya di las fáciles. The easy ones are already over. So yours Thank is going to be you, the, the interesting one. Thank yeah. you, teacher. Let's see. Ah, no, no, no. It's easy. It's easy. Remember, we are the point of origin. The starting point is Salvador del Mundo, right? Okay. okay. Yes. Let's see, guys. Do you want to say? I need to go. I need to go to. 
Uh, let's see what, uh, what was the place, the easy one that I have for you. Salvador uh, del Mundo. Yes, I am at Salvador del Mundo. <laughs> I need to go to Metro Centro, San Salvador. Okay. Believe me, it's easy. Yours is easy. Okay. Across from Cuscatlan Park, across from turn left, turn left, turn left, uh, one block, two blocks. No, oh, interesting. Oh, pero ahí ya no se pasó el hospital Rosales. No, ya se pasó. Okay, I return to, I return to Franklin Alameda. Okay, um, I am at Parque Costa Plan. Yes. Okay, turn left in 25 Avenue. Mm, actually, you cannot mm -hmm. take a left there. Oh, what you gotta there? do is, what you gotta do in order to get to Hospital Rosales is, you need to go down, you need to go down on Alameda Franklin Delano Roosevelt, and turn right on, well, go around 23rd Avenue, then take 4th. 21st uh, Avenue. Yeah. Hold on, hold on. Don't move, don't move, don't move. Vaya, lo que pasa es eso, que usted tiene que bajar, tiene que bajar sobre la del ano, tomar la 23, subir sobre la cuarta para tomar la 25. In Me order to get to the hospital. Era. Levemente a su derecha. Oh, here. Sí, pero sobre la sobre Alameda Franklin. Okay, uh -huh. in front of, of the cruza, car. Cruza la, no. pero voy, voy en carro. Okay. Entonces usted baja por la Franklin Delano, hace un turn right en la 23, hace un turn right en la cuarta, nuevamente turn right en la 25, en okay. go two blocks. Go two blocks, one, two. And one, then I am right there. Two. No, 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 ya se pasó. No. Este es one, este es one, this is two. Oh, here. <laughs> you okay. see? Yeah. Uh, two, two blocks. It's not one. No, porque one ¿dónde, estaba usted? ¿dónde estaba usted? ¿Dónde inició? Okay. Uh, en, aquí, mire, usted salió acá, en esta esquina. Entonces, caminó uno y en el segundo bloque está enfrente. Ah, ok. Ok. Uh, again. Uh, I am at... And then if I in the Guys, who's got the who's got the chat here? Who me está compartiendo el chat? Me. It's me, Yanira. Oh, okay. We need to view the route for take a better route. Okay, okay, yeah, but what you're sharing is the chat. Usted lo que está compartiendo es el chat, el WhatsApp. Oh, I'm sorry. I try to. Um, mm -mm, this. Ah, oh, that's better. I was. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Teacher, how qué do bueno, you say? Qué bueno, qué bueno que no fue el otro chat. <laughs> but, but, but I asked for my um, partner if they can see the map and they say me, yes. <laughs> Because yeah, but, uh, I see. <laughs> well, we could see a map. I, we won't tell you which one. No le vamos a <laughs> oh my God, Jesus. <laughs> 
sorry. Oh, look at Maria. She got red. She blushes. <laughs> Uh, okay, sorry, okay. Where, are where are you? Where are you? Where are you? We are right here, right? And we need to get where? Teacher, how do you say? Teacher, how do you say redondel? Turn around. Turn around. And how? Say, no, 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 no. I'm sorry. No. Roundabout. 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 Wow, we are getting to here. Yes. We are here and we need to go to here. Yes. The only problem you got is this. El único problemito que tienen es este. I am going by car. The only problem you got, you can see my, my pointer. Pueden ver my pointer on the screen. Okay. You can go down by. Uh, Franklin Delano Roosevelt, right? Mm. Is this? We, is we, this? Think, we think take a uh, Boulevard Constitution and uh -huh. around and about. Uh, are, how do you say? Re, redondel? R roundabout? Roundabout. Roundabout. And take um, uh, and San, Antonio San Antonio Abad or... Street. Uh -huh. And, oh, yeah, that, that's and go straight. And no, go straight, no, go down. In that case, it's go down. Go down, go down. Go down on? On San Antonio Bad Street. Yes. But you need, as there are many blocks, what you need to give me is one point of reference. Okay, you need to give me one point of reference to for me to realize that I am close. Okay, like a so, monument of la Constitución. Oh, no, what you can do is this because I'm going to 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 where is it? Universidad de Salvador. Okay, it's right here. You can tell me. Uh, after you pass the roundabout of este otro redondo, ¿cómo se llama? Uh, Torogos, right? Sí. Sí, okay. rondel uh, yes. Torogos. Mm -hmm. Torogos. Uh, you can tell me, after you pass redondel el Torogos, you are like, how many blocks? One is one. One, two, three, two, four. Three, four. 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 Yes, four. Four blocks. You can tell me. You after the roundabout. Four, the five, road, six, seven. Because no, because this is this is just one block. Esta es la misma cuadra. The big one, Centro Escolar, is the same block. One, two, three, ah, okay. four, one, five. Two, Let's see. Three, four, five. Yes. That's Cristobal Colon. There's uh, Parque El Roble. The other one is the uh, little one. This by Sopo Cafe, right? And then, yeah, like that, five. And then, and tell me, it's on your left because I'm going down, okay? Now, structure the sentences correctly, guys, because I am going to choose who is going to tell me. Yo voy a escoger quien me lo va a decir. Okay. Let's see who's here. Oh, there's Carla. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Carla. Get ready, get ready, Carla. Get ready. No, I'm kidding. I'm gonna pick somebody, but you don't know who. No, I'm kidding. La Avenida Baden Power. Avenida. It sería tour left. And... Avenue. 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 Turn left and take the Baden Powell Avenue. Así okay. sería. Nobody's got a, a, a. Who's working on a computer? ¿Quién está trabajando en una computadora aquí? ¿Quién qué? Yo. Does anyone of you? You? 
Why don't you get to maps and share the screen? ¿Por qué no comparte la pantalla del map? That's easier for everybody. It's just a suggestion. Una sugerencia, if you want. Okay, thank you. I did. Yeah, I did. Uh, somebody want to or, or can share the screen? Yo voy a compartir. Espérame. Okay, Roxana's going to do it. Traba. Está cargando. That's, that way it's easier because everybody can see. Right? Mm -hmm. Está cargando. Hey, you got company. Yes. All the time. Quiero ver. Salvador del Mundo. Del Mundo. This one you got? What was for you? The presenter, right? Yes. Oh, that's easy, cheesy. Se traba. Yeah, that happens. That happens. Can you see my? Ahí está. Almost, casi. Right now we can see a blank screen. There it goes. How does it Si quieres, comparte. Marta, you got a better connection? Tiene mejor connection? Yes. Okay, let's do it. Because Roxana is going to break her computer right now. Roxana tiene una computer. Yes. Si me regalan acceso. Okay, let me see. Uh, right now. Ok, es, esta era la, la, la vueltecita que le decía eh, Roxana, que lo hace aquí como es por DHL. Entonces se, se ingresa aquí como por donde hay un car wash y ya aquí ya sale la 49. Y ya llegó. Oh, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sí, o sea, It's sale good. el de El Salvador del Mundo. Eh, cuando, yes, pasa, cuando pasa el, un, un desnivel que hay ahí, entonces aquí hay como una callecita eh, que cruza acá a la derecha. Y cabal yeah, un Marta. block, one block. Somebody is going to hit me there. Alguien me va, a me va a golpear ahí. That turn is dangerous. I know. No, no, teacher. Is is well, the... Is, is... Easy to cross the No, it's, it's easy, <laughs> but at some times of the day, algunas horas del día, to make that turn, to take that turn is, I mean, you have to be careful. Yes. Let's see. It's, Am it's, I? Ah, oh, yeah, it's allowed. Sí, sí, es permitido. Sí, es permitido. Sí, es permitido. Yo me voy por ahí. Estamos hablando de que estamos frente a Castillo. Right? Eh, no. Castillo Venturoso? No. 
esta, esta, esta es una calle, está bien pequeña, un, eh, es one, one block, only eh, car wash and eh, incorporate the 49. Yeah, this, this is difficult. This is difficult. Incorporate yeah, the stadium, right? Yeah, it's next to the stadium. Yeah. Yes. Okay, you ready? Yes. Okay, that's nice because I'm going to pick somebody. Yo voy a escoger solo una persona to tell me. Let's see, and got to be the one who knows the list. Y va a ser el que conozca menos. Let's see. Oh, there's Fausto. No, but Fausto. You ready, Fausto? No, teacher. <laughs> oh, there's Silvia also. Yeah. Okay, guys. Just, I'll give you two extra minutes, okay? Two extra minutes so everybody can get ready. Okay, thank you. That you can get ready. Let me go check another group. Or, or, or West Street. Go ahead for one block again and to write for to write at 25 Street Avenue. And go straight ahead two blocks. And oh, there is. I've been two blocks and you are right. And you are right. Yes, you and you are right. Okay. Hey, by the way, for the time of the for the moment of the presentation, can you project it? Para la hora de la presentación a sus compañeros, lo proyectan, please. The map. Okay. Okay, yeah, lo proyecto. Okay, perfect. So are you ready? Uh, yes. Let's see who are in this group. There's Rita, Fernando, Ambar. Elvia Francisco. Mm, who's gonna pass? Who's gonna pass? Estoy queriendo decidir quién va a pasar. Who's gonna make it? Present to the, to the class. Vamos a ver quién la presenta a la clase. So be ready. Just one minute. Realmente yo creo que es la más, la más fácil. The most easy. I can finish. The easiest. Finish? No. no. We need Not more yet. time. We need 10 minutes more. <laughs> okay, <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Where, where are you going? Where are you going? Universidad del Salvador. Ya fuimos, okay. ya venimos. Pero... Okay, it's easy. Look, you are at Salvador del Mundo. You tell the person. Okay, take a... Um, Boulevard, Constitución Boulevard. When yes. you get to, 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 to Monumento a la... Constitución. Constitución. Yeah, yeah, but that's Monumento, okay. Monumento a la Constitución, you take, you make a right on... Uh, you Calle take fears. Mm -hmm. You go down calle San Antonio Abad and when you pass the Torogos roundabout five blocks down there you are it's on your left yes you? teacher but uh, yes yes but we we are thinking if you are you you go in, in car and in front of the university is not cross of left in your car. Entonces, okay, uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. If not, if you get it like that, you tell the person. When you get to the stoplight, cuando llegue el semáforo, you make a. I'm sorry, yo tengo que tocarme las manos para saber que es left. <laughs> left. Me too, me too. Yeah, I have to. You, you make a left on. Veamos cuál es ese. Ahí ya es la autopista norte. Yes, uh, right. Lo mejor es que seamos Uber y que dejamos a la persona ahí enfrente de la entrada y que no se pase de la calle. Yeah, y que but... se cruce el do, Don Bosco <laughs> look, Avenue. Look, but you are giving the instruction for the person to get there. And I mean, the person looks to the streets and turns, okay? 
Okay. But I mean, with that idea, the person is there. And you just need to get the person there. Okay. I mean, don't, don't make it too complicated. Don't make it too complex. Okay, four block paths. We are here. No, la aquí, aquí puede o cruzar o cruzar a la izquierda. Aquí estamos por el list ya. Entonces puede o cruzar a la derecha o cruzar a la izquierda. En cualquiera de las dos hay entradas. Al parking. La que está más cerca es la de la derecha. So, tour. And tour when, uh -huh. when, you get, when you get to Los Andes Avenue. Esa, esa calle es la avenida de Los Andes. Where la principal. ¿Por dónde me llevaron? Está en el Instituto Salvadoreño. Al seguro lo llevamos, teacher, sorry. Está justo en Tortas Carolina para llevar, según Google Maps. Ok, let's see. Yeah, but it's easy. I'm going to Metro Centro. I can get, I can get into Metro Centro by KFC, ¿no? Puedo entrar al partido de Metro Centro por el KFC. Pero eso es más arriba. Nosotros estamos más abajo. Sí, estamos en el mucho instituto. más abajo. Uh -huh. Aquí está el instituto. Entonces aquí puede entrar por aquí, que es esa de los Andes. Wait. Ok, ¿y cómo es que llegué hasta ahí? Where did you take me? Because... Me <risa> Rosana lo llevó para ahí. No. Ah, bueno. <risa> when you, when you, eh, cuando usted está, when you, where oh, usted, in me llevó del mundo. El, usted me llevó por el café de Don café Pedro. Café de Don Pedro, correcto. Ya. Yeah. Entonces well, estamos en el instituto. Your idea is to get me in front of Metro Centro. I have to look how to get in. Usted lléveme hasta enfrente de Metro Centro. Yo tengo que buscar cómo entrar, ¿ok? Ok. Ok. Don't make it too complex. No me lo hagan tan complicado. It's going to be too, too weird for you. Okay. okay, ready guys? Yes, perfect. Thank you. Let's go. Hello, Fausto, how are you? It's been hard for you today to connect, I guess. Oh yeah, I can hear you. You're having problems with internet right now. Yeah, well, that happens, that happens. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Who is it going to be? Group number one is Amber, Elvia, Fernando, Francisco, and Rita. Okay, guys. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Who's okay. gonna present? Who's gonna present? I will share my screen. Perfect. Ambar, Elvia, Fernando, Francisco, and Rita. Mm -hmm. Rita, you are going to tell me how to get. Where am I and where am I going? Okay, teacher. Oh, I am going to Hospital Rosales. Please tell me how to get there. Your yeah. classmates are going to hate you guys because yours was the easiest. And you said it is not fácil. You teacher stay in start in the Salvador del Mundo. Go uh -huh. straight ahead on Roosevelt Avenue yeah. until 
23 Avenue South. South, South, South Avenue. South Avenue. On turn off right for one block and okay. turn off right in the fourth West Street. Okay. Um, turn off right on 25 South Avenue. Perfect. Uh, driving, driving two block and you arrive destiny. Destiny. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Group number two, Carlos Murillo, Edward, Carla Marielos, Maria Alejandra, and Chanira. Let's see, let's see. Who's going to present, guys? Can you share the screen? Are you going to share the screen? I'm sorry. Van a compartir pantalla? Nice. Okay, and who's going to present? Let's see, man. It's difficult for me to decide. Let's see. Maria Alejandra, you are going to represent your group. Uh, teacher. Car Carlos is mad because I didn't choose him. Carlos. <laughs> These exercises I are very difficult for me because I don't remember the name of the street, but I'm trying. Okay. <laughs> um, Where am I going? Hello. Whoopsie. Carlos, let's help her, please. Okay, teacher. Okay, you are in the in the Salvador. Where are we going? Where are we going? Uh, you, you, we, we're going to the University of El Salvador, and Perfect. you are in the from the well. Um, Salvador del Mundo, Monument of Salvador del Mundo. Um, Perfect. The, the, the best route you take is uh, the, uh, go, go straight um, Boulevard Constitu Constitución. Constitución um, Boulevard. Constitución. Okay. Uh, when, when you go to the Rondagual, you take the first. Uh, the first out to to the um, San Antonio Abal Street down okay. down the street down the uh, left uh, turn turn right um, down the street when you go to the Rondawell of uh, Torogos you take the third the first out and down one block um, to a stoplight. Um, it's a it's a Nova, maybe I, I remember that's his name. And it's a Nova and turn right and down four block across the street uh, Avenue Don Bosco, and in front is um. University of El Salvador. Perfect. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Now, the last group, the last group is Fausto, Marta, Roxana, Silvia, and Wilfredo. Okay, Marta, you are going to present.
Okay. Can I see to my screen? Yes, yes, we can. Okay. Uh, you go straight ahead on to Roosevelt Avenue. Okay. Uh, when you at Cafe de Don Pedro. Okay. Uh, you cross the uh, Avenue, no, Vandel Powell Avenue. Okay. You drive for four block. Uh, cross the street Alameda. And you, and you uh, and you get Avenue uh, Los Andes to right in front about the half block and cross left at Arribu. And the there parking. you are. And there okay. you are. Okay. In this case, when we want to say to the other person, when we want to tell the person, ya llegó, we say, and there you are. Okay, guys. Okay. I know that this, thank you very much, Marta. I know that this exercise has not been easy. And I know that it's been difficult and perhaps you can feel like, man, we could have done better, but don't worry. I mean, you have done a lot, believe me. You have done a lot because I know that this, this type of exercises are not easy and I didn't make it easy for you. The locations I choose were far away and you have to work a lot in order to, to, to give the instructions. It's very important that we remember, you say, Take a left, take a right, okay? That's the way we say. We say, take a left, take a right, okay? Uh, go straight on, turn on. Remember, those expressions are always used when given instructions like this. Okay, guys, uh, well, let me see. Before anything else, I need to take the attendance one last time. Ambarelli Alfaro Gomez. Present teacher. Andrea Beatriz Rendero Cibrián. Edward Ademir Noyola Brito. Present teacher. Elvia Chanet Beltrán de Cabrera. Present. Fausto Antonio Landaverde López. Present teacher. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Present teacher. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. Jocelyn Alexandra Fuentes Molina. Eh, Carla Marielos Guevara Callejas. Present. Leslie Fernández Ochoa. Linda Marlene Acosta Barrera. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. Marta Navelinda Morales de Portillo. Present teacher. Marta Patricia Díaz González. Rita Beatriz Cabrero de Sea. Present. Roxana Iveta Asensio de Mejía. Present. Silvia Elizabeth Avendaño Pineda. Present. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. Yanira Elizabeth Asensio García. Present teacher. Carlos Antonio Murillo Hernández. Present teacher. Sandra Beatriz Hernández Martínez. Okay, guys. Now, let's see. For tomorrow, your homework is going to be quite easy, okay? Because what you are going to do 
is uh, this. You're going to work on your manuals, okay? Remember the, the, map, the little map that I show you? We have here the areas, production area, reception, okay? What you're going to do is this. Uh, you're going to do exercise five, okay? and exercise six. In exercise five, you are at the parking and you are visiting Rex facilities. Your questions are, how can I get to the auditor office? How can I get to the quality control department? How can I get to the planning area? How can I get to the restrooms? Okay. These three questions you need to answer for tomorrow because I'm going to ask you at the beginning of the class. Then, how many areas are there in REX facilities? Is there a financial office in this facility? How many quality control offices are there? Is there an auditor office? So these two exercises are the ones that I need for tomorrow because these questions I will randomly ask you, okay? Remember, we are in page number 44, exercise five and six are for you to develop for tomorrow class. Any question, guys? Alguna pregunta? Okay, something that I want you to be sure is, relax, I know that it's been for a, for a minute, perhaps it was kind of frustrating to do this exercise, but you did okay. Relax, okay? It was excellent. Thank you very much, guys. I see you tomorrow. Have a good night. Good night, Bye. teacher. Good Thank night, you, teacher. Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. Good night, everybody. Bye, Edward. Let's see, Elvia. Give me a second, Elvia. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Hello, Elvia. How are you? Hello. Hi, fine. Tell me, tell me, tell me, Elvia. This is a moment where we get to a small session and we talk about uh, little things. I don't know, perhaps a topic that wasn't quite clear for you. Veamos quizás algún tema que no le quedó claro or perhaps something that you feel that you need help with o algo con lo que uh, te ayuda. Uh, can you explain to me the use uh, of shoes? Shoes. Okay, perfect. First of all, let's see, let's see, let's see. Excellent. Okay, let's see. Can you see the screen? Yes. Should. Sure. Okay. Should is a modal verb. Este es un verbo de modo. Okay? okay. Now, how do we use should? ¿Cómo usamos should? Should is used like this. When you have modal verb, you get like this. First of all, primero veamos la estructura. You have the subject in a sentence, okay? Then you have the modal, the should. Then you have a verb, un verbo. Este verbo está en su base form. Base form. En su forma base, o sea, en su forma simple. Nosotros lo entenderíamos como en presente, okay? okay. Yes. And then we have the complement. Okay. That's okay. the structure. Now, sentences. Elvia, you 
should practice for the exam. An exam. You should practice for the exam. Okay, you see, we have here the subject, you, then we have should, then we have the verb in the base form that is practice, and then we have the complement for the exam. Okay, you see all the elements? The total elements? Sí, yes. Okay. Now, this was a uh, structure. Right? Now, what is the meaning? What is the idea? Ahora bien, ¿cuál es la idea? ¿Qué significa? We use should to express different ideas. Lo utilizamos para expresar distintas ideas. Can I... ¿Puedo salirme de acá? Why? Can I get out of this screen? ¿Puedo salirme de esta pantalla? Yes. Okay. Now let's see, how can I explain to you this? Okay, when we use should, uh, as I told you, it's an auxiliary verb, it's a modal verb, okay? Now, we use it to give advice, or to make a recommendation. Like, hey, Elvia, you should practice for the exam. Es un consejo, una recomendación, right? To talk about an obligation. If it's your boss who's telling you, si es su jefe quien te lo está diciendo, they can use should, but it's, uh, it's an obligation. The boss says, Elvia, you should come earlier tomorrow, please. Okay, en el caso de debería. Debería. Okay. You use about, you use it to talk about probability or expectation. Lo usa para hablar sobre una probabilidad o algo yeah. que esperamos. Okay? Yeah. Uh, it should rain tonight. Podría llover hoy. Okay? Mostly when we use should, we are using it mostly to give advice. Lo usamos para dar consejos. But when there are options, okay? Pero cuando hay opciones. Uh -huh. Like, uh, imagine that I tell you, one of the examples that I was giving in the class, uh, hey guys, I got a stomachache. Tengo un dolor de estómago. Y usted me dice, oh, teacher, you should take a snack a seltzer. Or uh -huh. you should take a tea. You see, in that case, there is more than one option. In this este case, más de una opción, right? No. Why? Okay. Okay. Tell me, are you getting it now? Do you see me still explaining? Yes. So, when we use modal, remember always after choose a verb in present. Okay. All the time. Siempre seguiría eh, la estructura, ¿verdad? Yes. Now, remember that uh, if it's in negative, it's almost like a prohibition. You shouldn't come late. Okay? You shouldn't uh, imagine I that you have... Yes, come, come. I used the question. Yeah, when you make it into an equation, you are saying like a, like a request. Ahí está haciendo una petición. Or asking for advice or pidiendo un consejo. Eh, should, I, should I go to the party? Debería ir a la fiesta. And you tell me, mm, no, you have to work tomorrow. You see? Okay. Or what do you think? Should I should I shave my head? 
I'm asking you for your opinion, okay? For your advice. Estoy pidiendo su opinión, su consejo. Should I shave my head? Me debería de tapar la cabeza. And you tell me, yes, you should, or no, you shouldn't. Your personal opinion. In, in the question, sigue la misma estructura. For the question, the only difference is this. Should goes at the beginning. El should va al inicio. Ah, okay. That's why, listen. Should I shave my head? So, I start the question using should. Okay. Okay, is there anything else I could help you with? Hay algo más que no se le pueda ayudar? Or is it clear this point? Mm -hmm. Este punto sí está claro? Yes, clear. Okay, tell me, is there anything, anything else? No, teacher. I don't. Well, I am glad to have been of help. Me alegra haber sido de ayuda. Thank you. Please don't lose classes. Don't lose classes. No me pierda clases. Have no, you finished no. the platform? ¿Cómo vamos con la plataforma? Mm, voy. Mm. You finished section one. Si me termino la section uno, ¿verdad? Yes. Okay, perfect. Then we are okay. It was a pleasure, my dear. Un placer. See you tomorrow. Be on time. Be early. Thanks. Have a good night. Good night. Bye bye. Okay, let's see, let's see. Oh. We finished the class now. Okay. And we're going to finish right now. See you tomorrow, guys. Have a good night.